Hi, hello, hello people. Right, um, so today I will be reviewing the Leatherman Squirt PS4. Um, um, I got this for for 225 ringgit. And I got it from Shopee. Um, like it's it's like close to two weeks now. I'm having it. Um, it's a beautiful piece. I love it. I decided to go with the uh, red one. We have blue and we have black. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have the silver one like the uh, Leatherman Micra. If there's a silver version, then yes, I would, I would have definitely gone gone for that. Um, based on the other reviews that I've seen, this this color wears out, and then it it and you see you see there's a dot here already, right? So it wears out, and then it leaves behind a shitty looking uh, multi tool. But again, that that creates uh, more I don't know personality to the tool, and it shows that it's been used, so it's good, right? So let's. By the way, this is my. I've I've not done videos like this before. So um, I was looking for um, um, feedbacks or reviews about this item when I was when I was about to purchase this, and I thought, why not represent Malaysia, and and review this too, right? So this will be a short and sweet video. Hopefully, it's sweet. It's going to be a short video though. Let's see if I don't get carried away talking and stuff like that. So let's move to the first something that I least like in this device is the scissors. Scissors is good. It it's not wobbly like um, like the Victorinox that I have, but. This scissors is just sharp in the tip, just here. It is not sharp all the way here, right? So naturally, when I'm cutting something, we we go all the way through, right? And then it and then it uh, folds the paper or something like that, and then you're reminded that it's not sharp all the way, and then you got like cut it. Right? That's not how a scissors should be, right? A scissors should be sharpened all the way through. So yeah, and then the uh, spring mechanism is different from the uh, Victorinox. Uh, I think this will uh, last last longer. Um, so there's this uh, bar, whatever you call it. It's constantly pushing this this other piece up, right? I like doing that, it just bounces, right? So that's that. Moving on, next is the bottle cap opener slash screwdriver flathead screwdriver solid thick nice and thick solid not wobbly right it's good next one is the Philip head screwdriver or a small flat screwdriver right this is good I've tested it on some of the um, uh, stuff I have here and then it, it works fine just that it's a bit fat so if it if you're gonna go into something deep and it's you know it's embedded inside the screws are inside then this this part might just uh, shave off a little bit of the plastic around which is exactly what happened to me right I was trying to unscrew the um, uh, unscrew the uh, the remote control that I have and then it was quite deep and then when I did it and then it created a you know shaving around this area because it's sorry I went off So it works, but with limitations. Next one is the file. Right, this file is good actually. It's one of the best. Um, this this one with the single single direction is for wood, and this uh, uh, that crisscross you call it. I know. This is for the nail. Right. The beauty is this part here is is, is just uh, it's just plain right it does not have any of the uh, the, the linings but here they do 
what I've tried is I've tried cutting wood with this and it worked perfectly fine, right? So basically you get a file, wood file and a nail file plus you get a like a very uh, light duty exo, 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 exo. I don't know how you say it, but yeah, right, like, like a small light saw or something like that, right? That's good. And the favorite part of this knife is, I mean, at least for me, the favorite part of the knife is, favorite part of the knife is this knife. No, favorite part of this multi-tool is this knife. This knife is beautiful, right? Um... Based on the reviews I've seen, they called it a uh, they call this a uh, chisel chisel grind, uh, which means only one part is sharpened. You can see that that edge there. The other part is flat, and this knife is freaking sharp. Out of the box, freaking sharp, like really sharp. So yep. That's that's my favorite. It's it's thicker. It's way thicker than the uh, Victorinox that I have. I have a Victorinox Rambler. Yeah, I'll do a review about that also. Right, it's nice. And then, what makes this a Leatherman? Yep, you guessed it right. It has a plier, beautiful plier. Works fine. Has a wire cutter. It has a. It has the regular pliers and then needle nose. And then the beauty is, it has some some kind of mechanism here that works as a spring, right? Both sides. So which is good, right? And yeah, it's, it's a bit greasy because I added some oil to to lubricate this thing. Um, best part of it is all the uh, all the other tools are outside, right? So you don't need to open this thing up, you know, whenever you want to, um, you know, use the tools. But I like opening this thing up. You know, it has it feels so it feels you can feel the quality, right? Right? It it, it clicks, right? It clicks. I, I don't know what makes a click. It clicks beautifully, and this is how I like closing this uh, this, this, this multi tool. Hold we'll it like that, and then boom! Just so satisfying. Yeah, got it the other way around. So yeah, that's the review. Ignore my uh, surrounding. There's a loud motorcycle just passed by. So this is the review on the Leatherman. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, it's that's Leatherman branding both sides. So this is the review on the Leatherman Squirt PS4. So, um, yeah, I hope you hope you find find this uh, video informative. I'll be doing more reviews like this soon. Thank you guys.